Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lori and today is day 19 of my 30 day fitness challenge. And you may be wondering if I am missing a couple of videos, which I am day 15 and day 19. I did not create any videos that day, but I did make little blogs on those days on lifebylori.com. So you can go ahead and go check those out. Um, and I really wanted to put together a fantastic and inspirational video for you of another creative way that you can move your body and enjoy the ability to move. But I didn't get one together. I absolutely have found myself in a routine, which is on Monday. I take my kids to school. I go to the gym, hit up Zumba, do some yoga, and then get on with my day. Um, so I, again, <laughs> I don't have a Zumba workout to show you or anything like that. But I did want to talk a little bit about just taking some time to brainstorm all of the most creative ways that you love to move your body. You know, when I was sitting back and I was thinking originally on this whole journey, I thought about what I used to love to do as a kid and how did I spend my time and I just put together this amazing brainstorm of all of the things of like how I wanted to move my body. Like, wouldn't it be nice if I could do this? And wouldn't it be cool if I could experience that? And I put together this huge list and it's actually up on that little uh, fitness guide right there that I'm putting together. It's up there of all these cool things. And it was like trapeze and, you know, acro yoga or dancing, ballroom dancing and all of these different um, cool physical activities, kite surfing and wakeboarding and, you know, whatever. I just thought of all of the most fun ways that I could be active and enjoy the ability to move. And not, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before yesterday, I believe day 17, I posted a link for Meet Dreama. And that was a video, it's actually not a video, it's an article that I wrote a few years ago with a client that I used to work with who was in a, not even in a wheelchair, she was bedridden for most of my life. And I was sent to her to give her massages because she was in so much pain and she didn't have any ability to move her body at all. And she would just scream and yell because so badly, all she wanted to do was to walk. She was so frustrated that she didn't have the ability to move. And at that time in my life, I was so touched because how easy is it for us to take for granted the ability to move? The fact that we can just get up and get out of bed with thinking nothing of it, going out for a walk, and how many of us are we really appreciating our bodies? You know, there's something that I like to think about of, you know, gratitude, it's to be thankful for, and appreciation means to improve the value of. So how are you appreciating your body? How are you improving the value and the quality and the integrity of your body? That is my question for you. And if you don't know how, I would love to inspire you to think back on all of the activities that you have done throughout the course of your life that you absolutely love to do, that you really enjoyed. And make a list of all the things that you've never done, that you've been curious about and always wanted to try. Put that list together and make an action plan to when you're going to actually do some of these things. And make them happen, baby. Life is short. Enjoy the ability to move. Enjoy and appreciate your body. And that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. Keep working out. Keep moving your body. Keep getting in shape because you know what? You never know what one little habit added into your life, how that has a ripple effect in your life. Who would ever know that me putting together, you know, the, the idea like I really need to make fitness an everyday habit and just sharing it on here with you would inspire me to make a fitness guide, would inspire me to have all of these other things start to come together. I'm noticing my mind and my emotional well-being feeling better. I'm noticing my relationships coming together. So never underestimate the momentum of one habit, how that can make an impact on your entire life. Okay, bye guys.